guys. This is Cassie with Kincaid Special Creations. We are going to work on making a cross. This is my prototype that I put together off of a picture from Pinterest that was sent to me by one of my subscribers. So we're going to try to recreate this. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of this tight bond glue on. Smear it down there so it's really good. A little bit on the other side. And then just a little bit of hot glue. Make sure it matches up pretty good. Next one is going to be put a little bit of hot glue here and stick it in the middle here. Wipe this glue off before it sets up. We'll be painting it the brown after we get all this together. These uh, locks are kind of uh, not the same shape, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. Well, I'm telling you what, now that glue comes out. Okay, and put a little bit of hot glue. Get your other two blocks. Put one on that side. And one on this side. And that's your first set of six. So then we're going to bake three more sets of six. Okay. There is two. Now we've got to put one more together. Okay, now, we have one on top, and we have one here, and one here. So that's what we're going to do next, is we're going to glue just the tiniest bit of wood glue on the end, and hot glue. Try not to get them close together, because they do like to cancel their self out. There's one of them. Then we have two long ones that we do that same way on the other end to make the cross complete. Just like this. Okay, and then we're going to put three together. Put them together with this piece. See, that makes your full cross. And then you have one more of these down here. Just three across. And then on the very bottom, you just have one right in the center. And that completes your cross. Now, what I'm going to do is paint. I'll take my time and paint these blocks. Because I already put them together, it'll be a little bit more time consuming to paint them, but end results will be the same. to where I can paint the inside of these blocks here. Then we'll dry it with our heat gun, turn it over and paint the back. Turn it over and paint the back. Right down this paint on this thing before I turn it over so I don't get the paint in the wrong spot. Now, paint this side and we're done. Alright 
guys. There she is. All done and ready to dry. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you give it a try. Hey, give me a like. Subscribe if you want to. Just tell me hello. That's w uh, wonderful to hear as well. So, you guys have a wonderful day. Talk to you next time.